I think he's got good video. I don't see the video over there. So, the last time. Stay in her way, kind of like annoying brother or sister until she just gets out of our way. We're not going to motivate her in any way with any verbal cues. We're just going to stand here and wait for her to make that decision. It's okay if she goes forward because she doesn't know not to. But we didn't tell her to go forward. Push. No, you're, you're perfectly normal. <laughs> Everybody wants to push their horses and mi micromanage their horses and manhandle their horses instead of talking to them. Okay, now don't give her her head back. She gave you a lot, so don't give it back now. She has to respond with her feet now. And she will. So I don't know if you could tell that she gave you a little bit of a lean back, so she'll probably cross over behind that other front foot. That's okay. That's good. Okay, we'll do one more. We did talk about the scratching and slapping, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm glad. I, I, I was appreciating that you weren't slapping. And yes. Okay. So now, I don't know if... I don't know how much we're hammering the right under it. There we go. Now, I don't know if you know that this horse is not the same as this horse. Okay. So we have to do it as if she's never ever seen it on this side. So it's possible she's not going to do it right away. She can see her head, don't give it back to her. You're just going to provide like a, a block. No. Yep, just, just, yep, just staying kind of in her way. Yep, yep, now don't give her her head back. Be 
basically you put her into a pretzel and she has to figure out how to get out of it. Good. And then the release. So when she went to leave, when she, so I've got my fingers on her. If she goes to move off of me, okay, I allow her to move. I don't follow her. Because you want to make sure that as soon as she starts to do what you're asking for. So I do wait until the foot does kind of the thing I want. I don't, I'm wearing my, um, I don't tolerate, but I don't, I don't accept this. Only a crossover front or crossover behind. I don't do shuffles. Because shuffles help a horse um, kind of establish the knee design. You know, minimal effort. I want them to actually move enough. Oh, just so you know, I'm, I'll say it now. When we're done, she should probably go on about 100 times at the end. And the reason they do that is because we're getting into the head. It seems like we're not doing anything, but we're playing total screw up games, not, you know, like puzzle games with our head. And is she'll become more and more sensitive to this because what's going to happen as soon as she goes to leave like she should you remember you're supposed to let go and allow her to move off of you if you don't then she's never going to really get it because she's never going to get that release she's thinking about it now Now, what we'll do is we'll do the same thing, but by moving the air. So if you see with my horses, I go like this, and they move out of the way of that. Um, so that is done. When I first teach it, I teach it kind of at them. Then it can be refined into just going like this, and the horse will turn. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to kind of imagine that you have a yoga ball. No, I'm, okay. <laughs> no, I'm like laughing like, you know, I'm like a little kid over here. Okay, okay, I just want to make sure like, <laughs> don't mind me. you're laughing at me. I'm like, what did I do? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't mind me. Okay, so imagine you have a yoga ball, okay, and you're going to bounce the yoga ball on her, but you're going to do it at like a beat. So it's, once you pick your beat, you don't change your beat. You don't turn it into faster, you don't turn it into bigger. You pick your beat and you stay with your beat now. She has a choice to get out of the way of this beat. But if she doesn't, the beat doesn't change when I get to her. It's just going to stay on her until she oh. moves off. You'll see by the third time, the beat will move her instead of her waiting for you to touch it. Yep. We always do the same side. Yeah, she's, she doesn't decide she's going to leave us. So you're gonna start. You're gonna start like the distance, like if you had a yoga ball. Okay. And then you're gonna imagine you're bouncing the yoga ball against her, and you're gonna like imagine bouncing it right here. So this hand will create like a turn signal at her nose, and this hand will come to her neck. Yep. Yep. Right, girl. Right, girl. Right, girl. Now, did you find? That your beat got faster once you physically no. touched her. So once you physically touched her, your hand went like that instead of staying at a steady beat. So only reason I'm saying it matters is because if you ever needed it to be faster or the turn needs to be sharper or quicker, she, she should respond to a faster beat. So you want to make sure that whatever beat you choose, this is a casual. So we'll go ahead and say she has that. So I'm just going to show you with her 
how easy that's going to be when it transfers into just walking under it. I want her to suddenly turn, I can just give her a turn. I'm, she needs to get here with you. You're okay. You're okay. chance to walk off of this movement and she said oh okay by you stopping basically always imagine anything you teach your horse your horse's thoughts are how do i get this idiot to stop so if you're over here doing this she wants to know how to make you stop doing that so if moving this way makes you stop doing that she's going to go mental note i can make her yeah so she she's got that now but if i had to i would touch her but i don't have to i'm going to give her the so if I wiggle the rope, it should slow her down from walking forward. saying we've completed the task so that way she doesn't have to overachieve because what she was doing is overachieving and the only reason that they overachieve like that they get what i call fire in their feet is because they're uncertain their lack of confidence in their feet but when they start taking thoughtful steps where you can almost see their feet think that's when you know you're connected so like her feet should think this time back up again. So, yes, going over there and rubbing her would be also kind, but not doing anything and just leaving her alone is kind too. Because what horses really want from us is for us to leave them alone. I've decided that she's going to like this as my reward, but if she doesn't actually like it, then you're not rewarding. You know what I mean? So always make sure that if she gives you this, like, I'm not liking that, then change it. Okay. So go ahead and do the other side. Remember, different horse, different side. I always say different eye, different horse. And this, this is where she might walk off again because she just doesn't know for sure. Good. Okay, so now we are going to be a little critical about what we're looking for with the feet. We are looking for that crossing. And it's okay that you've got movement and no escape, so to speak. So we'll, we'll reward her by not being critical this time, but now we're going to look Into that, but 
like she's choosing the wrong parts of her body to so only remind people. But did you see how much she was thinking? I, I, I think I'm supposed to do some kind of pivot thing, but her hind feet was the wrong, you know, was the wrong answer. So, we don't know this, but in a case like that, you can't quit. No matter how much she's spinning with the hind end, you can't quit until that front foot does what you need it to do. Because what, by not, you know, now we're talking, by not like, finishing that, you just taught her that the hind feet are what you wanted. So, so definitely. She's, I mean, it does help to be able to. those hind feet not to move. They're like basically looking for her hand tail to the wall and then we'll find So we're gonna go ahead and keep trying it, see if we can. So possibly we have to take down our energy so she thinks it through fat like so she spends more time in thought than in movement. Um, and then as soon as she goes to go like this we can take the energy down even a little bit more but not off because if we take it off she's gonna put her knee So now it's like we're just playing with the gas with her to find out what she needs from us to help her understand it. Yeah. So now if we can grab the rope to help help her know it means not go forward. There, that last step was perfect. Go ahead and rub her for that. Just okay, go ahead and wing it for you know this Okay. No, no, no. It's just the way I've been able to control her forward, we might have been able to better explain it to you. Okay, that was nice. That put thought. That put thought to do something. So go ahead and, and see. Maybe turn it down just a tiny bit because she thinks it's forward. So try instead because what's happening, and, and it's, this is how I would turn it down. So right now, your volume is in your jab. Okay? So now see if we can't just turn it down a little bit that way. Still have the same rhythm, but don't have as much of a jab. Yep. So generally speaking, what I would do is I would have the rope in my hand, and I would. She understands that the wiggle means back up now. So the wiggle is always a downward transition. So if she's going forward, it would stop her. If she stops, it'll back her up. If she's trying, it'll bring her to a walk. So um, I always keep the rope with me so I can keep her from making a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I know you, you, you don't want to hold the rope, but it is going to help her understand it. I'm very, I'm very So this way, so. When you get going like this, now you can drape it across your elbow or something, but when you get going like this, if she starts to go forward, you can throw a wiggle in that rope and say, no, 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 it's not go forward. I always work with my horses in, in thinking that they made an honest mistake. So, no, 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 that's not what I said. No, 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 that's not what I meant. You know, so that way they never feel punished, 
Because, like, when you clucked for her to go before, she kind of felt punished, right? She walked right into the end of that line as you pulled her back to you. So instead of doing that, you can be like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. You know, and allow them to kind of feel like they just made an honest mistake and they're cool with you still. It's okay. No, it's okay. I, I often have it. So if I were to, then I could say, I'm going to close. The one on the nose to keep going. I'm closed. I'm closed. I'm closed. Good. Good. There you go. Good girl. And I'm okay that she kept walking. Because if you saw, yes, you saw the first leaf fly related here. Here. So even that, like I could have just pulled her around. But instead, I gave her a feel and said, how about you turn and follow that? There's so many times that we just want to grab our horses and not give them any responsibility. And then they learn to not really like us very much. Just, you know, in life, why do I to be constantly grabbing and pulling on This is so much better. Better to be able to talk to each other. So I, you can fold it in half and then break it. Add it over this arm, so that yep, yeah, so that way this hand can keep going, and then this hand can reach in. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna make it where it's energy in the line instead of a pullback. There you go. Yep. Yep. There. And don't worry, everybody goes through it to where all of a sudden they don't know how to work their hands independent of each other. <laughs> they, they're very, very forgiving, especially when they realize that you're trying to have a conversation with them. And all of a sudden you're going to see, you'll see a change in her. Like if you start playing with her every day, you'll see a change in her within three days. She'll see you coming. She's like, we're going to do something, and it could not be at a food time, where, you know, don't do it at, like, like, if I go out there right now and call my horses, they'll all come, and they know that it's not for food or to come in, so we're like, oh, what, what are we going to do, you know, so it's fun having your horses really eager to play with you. Yeah, She got so much involved with her back feet that she doesn't know that's not part of it. She just doesn't know now. You know, so we just have to refine it for her. Okay, it's fine that you got the wrong idea, but now we have to kind of eliminate that part because that's really a mistake on our part to teach that. Give her a rub now. Now we're going to let her soak on that one because she doesn't actually know what she's soaking on, but we're going to actually wait for her to lick and chew. So that way we know that something about her movement this time became like a reward.
two days when you were rubbing her belly. not going to lick and chew and it might be because we, we kept stimulating her with rubbing and she didn't have a chance to process. That's okay. No, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Sometimes they process without, you know, without needing us to be totally quiet about it. Okay, go ahead and ask her to do one more. Now, you want to try to make sure that you can help her succeed by stopping anything after this happens. She's allowed to balance herself back off. green head on her pet lock on this side. I find them and then I use them. I don't ever exhaust it because if you exhaust it, then they don't care anymore. But if that's a reward, she'll work harder for it. So, see, she's offering her head. She's, and now, watch how much energy gets into her knee. And I'm going to take it back as soon as the energy gets in her knee. but I'm going to give it to you anyway. No, no hind feet, no hind feet. So she's already telling me her hind feet is going to be the first thing to move, and I don't want her hind feet to be the first to move. So I'm going to try to give her a little bit of a backward feel, and then, good. Oh, it's only about a front feet. Good. No hind feet, no hind feet. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, good. Right there, right there. You're in perfect position because you can do it right this time. Watch. Ready? So gentle. There. Good girl. So that time, because I knew she was going to do it, I was very careful how much energy I gave her. Yeah. Got it that time. So this is where you'd let her soak, give her a chance to lick and chew, you know, so that way she, because she got a lot, her body, her body was way too much involved, so she couldn't. Now watch. So I don't care that her head's down. I'll just keep saying, hey, I'm going to be telling you to, yep, yep, good, yep, good, okay, one bigger, one bigger, go back, keep this your front, 
So now go ahead and you're going to go ahead and ask her to take that front foot across and be ready to tell her hind feet not to be involved. So she, now often what will happen is they'll give it to you to provide it clear and then it'll still be a little blurry. Try to make that more of a wiggle than a pull. Right, good. Reward her for that. Okay. That one's going to be hard for you to work on because you're going to have to be very, very clear. Because this is where actually. Yeah. So basically, when you set out to do it, you're going to set out to. The front feet, hind feet need to cement themselves to the ground. How do I tell her only the front feet? If you start seeing her lean up over her knee, she's got forward on the mind. If you see her get rocked like to the side, you know, one side or the other, she's got hind feet moving first on her mind. So you want to make sure that when you see her just kind of get energy in her knees, it means she's going to cross, but you have to see how fast those knees get the energy. If the knees get energy a lot, you need to take down your energy, otherwise, she's Crossover, but you'll also keep going. Okay. So hind end, and I know she does it because I saw you do it. So your hind end is, I'm just going to show you with the rope so that way, because I want you to make sure that you, even if you love your horse, you may do this with somebody else's horse someday. You may decide that, wow, I'm really good at this and I want to help other people's horses. So you want to make sure that you always tip the nose a little bit towards you. So that way this leg can't get you. If she were to suddenly decide she wanted to pick me, she can't. I have her nose slightly towards me. If I allow her head to be that way, she can not only get me with that foot, she can take me down with that foot. So I want to make sure I always have her nose slightly tipped. And I'm going to rub her like, you know, hey, I'm just loving on you. As soon as I put my fingers onto her, I want her to respond by crossing over her hind feet. Now I'm just going to wait. Same thing as what we did with the front. Get it much 
do here this time. But I don't want that to keep moving. Until she crosses over. I guess that's something that's coming towards us. Right, you mean that's a little advanced? So I'll have you do those. Now, I know she understands the yields. That way, like, it's probably, you know, like a, a spur mark for her to understand that. Or, um, but the goal is, is that you're going to ask her politely, and then you're going to tell her front feet. She can't move her front feet. Those tips also help the body get into that C shape that helps that foot properly go underneath them. Um, she has to cross over underneath herself. That's a disengagement. If she goes like this, I equate that with being in neutral. You ever like sit in your car, like back in the like, you ever had a shift in the middle here and do uh, automatic, put it in neutral and we're, 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 drop it and drive? Well, imagine this is neutral. She can still drop it and drive and go. This is part. So you have to get her to where she's disengaging. So you know she's always been told, I'm asking you not to go forward. Once you choose your spot, keep the same spot. The only thing that you would do is you would just wait. You wouldn't push. I didn't go push because I couldn't tell by your legs. Make sure you have her nose slightly tipped. have it back. We'll cross that's a shuffle so we don't shut that's still neutral. She's gonna do it if as long as you don't change anything now she'll do it right. She's got her nose back. Try to stay in the same position and just back up with her until she does that exact move that you're looking for. Okay. Nope, still shuffle, still shuffle. Nope. Stay with her, stay with her. If she's going to do it, oop, oh, oh. Stay with her, stay with her. when you think about it, that we think that they understand their yields, you know, that she would understand that that's the same as a leg yield. The only difference is, is that chances are when you're in a saddle, you're only coming to here, and right now you're pushing her here. So you want to try to keep it where your leg would be. So everything we're doing, we're going to be able to do it to where it transfers into the saddle. So I don't usually stick my leg way back here, so I would probably keep it right back here to ask her. is how you were quick to, quick to say, you're going to micromanage that she doesn't go forward, right? So you had a hold of her. Yeah, so 
you, instead of having a hold of her, you, you allow her to make the mistakes so you can tell her, no, that's not what I wanted. But if you it don't let her make the mistake, yeah. then, then she's going to rely on you holding her hand all the time. If you want to, because if you don't think you're going to release quick enough, you can just turn that from, from a push to a rub, if that's easier to remind <laughs> that's easier to remind you. Isn't that cool? I think that, like, I did a clinic in Canada, and that was like a big thing. I'm like, please, everybody take pictures of all the horses, because we, well, you know you got in their heads when they get into the yawning state, and they'll yawn like 50 times. Okay, so we'll, we'll accept that, and that side will be the other side. Um, you know, yeah, I do keep forgetting to release my hand. I just wait to completely stop. So should I release my hand while I'm getting used to it? You can, but you have to be, as long as she follows through. If you find that she gets caught because you stopped the stimulation, then, then you're going to have to hold it longer, so that way she can get it. Oh. <laughs> like, I thought I turned the music off. <laughs> so that's just going to be gauging her personality. If she's a type to say, okay, yeah, I know that I'm going to just finish it, that's great. If she says, oh, you stopped, so I guess I'm supposed to stop. Because truthfully, you want wherever you stop for the horse to say, okay, now what? You're doing, all, you're doing all right, except for now what I would do, because you're not really releasing, you're not really taking your hand away. That's why I'm suggesting maybe just turn it into a rub right away. So that way you're saying, yes, you did it good, because if you don't release, then she's going to be thinking you did something else. And horses often, like say you're trying to get her to do something, and she...